Hi guys, Stephanie here and thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to have some fun with Tin Whistle. Um, I made a video last week on the history of Tin Whistle and included in that video was a section of a chap who played jazz on Tin Whistle. Now I adore jazz music, it is my favourite kind of music, along with swing, etc. Anything cool and funky like that. Um, but I've never played jazz on Tin Whistle, I have no idea how to play any sort of jazz let alone on Tin Whistle, on any other instrument whatsoever, I don't know how to play it. But I searched YouTube and I am trying my hardest to get my head around music theory so that I can make a video for you guys on improvisation. I don't know the first thing about music, to be honest, written down as scales, as notes, as sheet, as musical score, as everything else. So I don't know about the major and minor scales, I don't know about the mixolydian and the dominant pentatonic and what arpeggios are, I don't know any of this, but I'm trying my hardest to find some basic videos and try and learn that, but people assume you have some sort of prior knowledge and that you're going to be able to understand the things that are being told, but I need this information from the very basics, so unless I can find that, this is the best I'm gonna get. Anyway, moving on, you still can play along with a jazz backing track with the right notes and have some fun. So that is what we're going to do today. Now on YouTube I found um, a channel called Backing Tracks Channel and they have a dominant seventh jazz backing track in G. And if you scroll beneath that, I have linked it up here, um, you'll see that it gives you some scale suggestions. So if we scroll down a few you'll see G dominant beat bop scale and that includes all of the notes that we can play on a G whistle. So we can play G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp and F and we can play that over two octaves. So we have a whole range of notes on a G whistle that we can play along with this backing track with. This isn't including any jazz licks or riffs or whatever you'd like to call them. This isn't using any proper techniques. All it's using is the notes that we have on this whistle which is allowing us to play along with this backing track and make up whatever the heck we want. So that is what we're going to do today for fun. As I said, I have no musical knowledge, I have nothing, I don't know anything about this, but what I can do is I can grab my G whistle, I can play those notes and I can really enjoy myself improvising off the cuff on tin whistle along with a jazz backing track. It might not be right, it might not be perfect, it might not even be close, but for me it is an enjoyable experience and it is certainly the first step into sparking your interest to learn more about musical theory and maybe even starting your journey on improvisation. So if you would like to have a go, let's give it a whirl!
thanks for watching guys i hope you love this one it was a real fun video to make and i enjoyed it so i hope you guys did as well if you did don't forget to like subscribe share um if you know a lot about this and you have tutorials um that you think might be helpful then please do leave links and comments and information down below um i'm sure everybody here would love to learn more about music theory so if you are the person to show us that then please let us know down below on facebook on instagram find us and we will find you if you have comments, questions, or suggestions, otherwise you can leave those down below as well. Don't forget to check me out on Coffee and Patreon if you haven't already. There you guys can support me even further. And of course, don't forget to check out my other videos. I've actually added some of my slightly jazzy, swingy favorites that I've played in the past. So uh, if you enjoyed this, then hopefully you might enjoy playing them as well. Until next time, happy whistling, have fun, get jazzy, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Give this baby a whirl. I adore jazz music. It is my favorite kind of music. If you are a musical idiot like me, then you still can have fun whilst playing along with pl -la -la -la. If you are a musical idiot like me, if you are a musical... Moving on. There's a little bit of a lack of, of tuition out there that speaks to us complete music idiots who know nothing about music whatsoever. Cue the awful dancing. And I looked at my G whistle, and I looked at my chart, which I will blah 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 blah. So I looked at my whistle chart, which I will show you on screen here, a channel called Backing Tracks Channel, original. I am getting somewhere with the basics. I've heard of things. I've found notes. Mixolydian, dominant beat bop, Penta, minor blues, circle of fifths, all these other sevenths sheets as musical school, as everything else. So the cog started ticking and I started looking. I mean, to me, that means I can play along. So I tried it. I don't know anything about jazz. I don't know the licks and the riffs and the things that you're meant to do. But if you're like me and you like to run before you can walk, then this is why we are having some fun with Tin Whistle. Hell yeah, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> All the notes. Very, very exciting.